Okay, so in this lesson, uh, you remember in the last lesson we set up uh, the camera null and the camera and a light, and the null object is right here, as you can see, right here in the pilot's face, the camera's pointed to it. Now what I want to do is, let's uh, zoom out, and I'm going to go to layer, new, null object, and I'm going to call this one camera 2 null, and then I'm going to set up another camera, and again we'll make it 80 millimeters, and we're going to parent that camera to that null, I'm going to turn on the 3D layer for that null, okay, and then we'll see where that null is there, let's move that down, let's go to the right view, okay, Let's put that about right there. Now let's go here to camera two and let's position camera two where we want that to be. Maybe like so. Okay, so now you can see we have camera two and it's tracking its own null. And we can go back to camera one, which is right here on this pilot. So there we have camera two, there we have camera one. And which is really cool because when you're doing a complicated flight path or whatever, you want to be able to have, um, you know, multiple cameras. So I think what we need to do here is add another light. It's a little dark. So let's add another light. Let's make that an ambient light. Let's make that about 30. And let's give it sort of a blue color. It'll match the sky. Okay, let's turn that down a little bit. It's a little bit bright. There we go. We want a little bit of light on the bottom of the plane, but not that much. Okay, there we go. So now we have camera one, camera two. Let's go back here. Let's add another null object. We're going to call this one camera three null. And again, a new camera. And we're going to make that eight millimeter. Okay. And again, pair the camera to the null, make the null a 3D layer, okay, and let's go to camera 3. And for this one, I think we'll kind of have a top-down shot of the jet. Okay, so now we have camera 3 there, camera 2 here camera one here. Now remember you can add as many cameras as you want to a scene but I think these three will do for now and so I think what I'm going to do is stop right here and then we'll uh, start up with the next one and add an environment to our scene. Okay. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.